Okay, this is a video of how to find out who your neighbours were in the past. In other words, your old neighbours in a street you used to live in, or even uh, you know your neighbours of um, when you used to, uh, you know, uh, what when you're doing family history and who used to be the neighbours of your your parents or your grandparents or your great grandparents and stuff like that. People might be used to know. So how do you find this information out? Well, the information's all, if you, and this is finding this out only if you live in Victoria or uh, in Victoria, okay? Because in Victoria, there was a thing called the Sands and McDougall directory, okay? And if you type in Sands and McDougall, right, and you go to this link, which is State Library of Victoria, it will give you a jump to the Sands and McDougall directory. Now, thank you very much for the, uh, the Library of Victoria because they went to the trouble of digitising all these Sands and McDougall's directories from not all of them, some of them in 10 years gaps from 1860 to 1974. I've just gone into there. You can do a search on the directory, but I find it easier. I go down to the bottom here and go straight to the Sands and McDougall's directory, of which there are 24 of them. Okay. And each of them can be thousands of pages each. And it breaks them up into years. As you can see, there's 1860, 65, 70, 75, 95, uh, then 1940 to 1945, and then uh, 1970, 1950 to 1974. So I'm interested in 1970. So I can't click there. So I'm going to click there. Okay. I'm going to go back to 1970. Okay. And then I'm going to look for um, the 1970 book, which is there, and I'm going to actually view it. If I click on the, I'm going to right click and open the new tab. That way I can always go back to this one if necessary. You'll notice there's a, a, a logo a graphic of the directory itself, the outside cover of it, which will come up in a minute here as well. Okay. Comes up with this message about copyright. A nice thing about the Sands McDougall directory. The Sands McDougall directory no longer uh, company no longer exists, and I don't know. We don't know who owns the copyright of the material. The company doesn't exist. It looks like nobody bought the copyright, not that I'm aware of. So it sounds like you can copy the whole damn thing if you want it. Anyway, so they've gone to the trouble of doing that. So just notice that that copyright information. All right, I'm going to proceed. And when I proceed, it gives me a directory that a, a information that looks like this. Okay. So it shows you on the left-hand side uh, all this information. You can also do a search there and do advanced searches there, but rather than doing that, uh, and also on the right-hand side, it gives you a graphic of the information. Now, even though it's a graphic, right, and the individual pages are actually, um, um, uh, even though they're being scanned, they've also been OCR, which means optical character recognition, which means that you can actually uh, copy the information and search on it. So well worthwhile having a look at the indexes here. But the index I'm going to look at to start off with is the street index. Right? If I click on plus there, expands it out, gives me uh, names of all the streets in Melbourne and suburbs. Uh, if you're looking for outside, there's outside Melbourne areas further down. But anyway, uh, I'm looking for a street called Middleton Street where I used to live in. Okay, So um, it's got, if I'm looking for Middleton, it's saying in this index, uh, they've scanned it from A through to G's, then G's through to O's, and that's it. Middleton goes between the G's and O's. So if I click on that, it'll give me that. It'll, 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 it'll give me a, a start of the uh, running, starting of the whole index, start with the G's. All right. Okay, there it is. It comes up. All right. It's coming up. It will be coming up in a minute. Okay. All right. Okay. Very slow. So what it's doing is loading this what's called PDF file. All right. So it's a PDF file, and you can probably save that. All right. If you wanted to, and do it offline and look look for the information. In fact, I can download it. There's a download function within my browser. But I'm not going to do that at the moment. So there's 24 pages. All right. Um, rather than actually going through and searching through those pages, you can use the function within your browser to actually search for information. For example, just to show you that the information is actually 
editable. So you can see I can actually highlight the information and copy it and paste it into something else, or I can download the whole thing. If I go over, um, so what I'm going to actually do is use the browser function for searching. So I'm using Google Chrome. I'm clicking over here. I'm going down here to find, right? I'm looking for Middleton Street. So it's M I D D L E C O N. I just type in Middleton. I'm not going to type in Street S T R W T M I find. It goes beep, which means it probably didn't find it. Okay. Um, sometimes it finds it. Sometimes it doesn't. It depends on how good the uh, OCR is and how good the searching is. Okay, if I can't find it that way, I'm going to actually have to scroll down and find it. So I'm in the G's now. So I can grab over on the right hand side and scroll down here and go down. But when it refreshes, it takes quite some time to refresh. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to show you me finding that because it's just scrolling down into my position on that. So I'll pause this video for a minute and continue on. Okay, uh, I'm going to do that. Okay, and pause it. I was recording. Okay, after a lot of scrolling back and forth and waiting a long while, I actually did find Middleton Street. There it is there, Middleton Street. There's Middleton Street Black Rock, which is not what I'm interested in. And you'll notice these columns as they go down and then up, down and up and up. So I've got to go back to the top. I'm listening to Middleton Street, not Black Rock, but Middleton Street Watsonia. So I'm going up to the top of this list. And I then go to, there we are, Watsonia. And I can see there that it's on page 312. So Middleton Street, Watsonia is on page 312. Okay, now I go back over here. And on the left-hand side here, I look for the Melbourne Postal Dictionary abbreviation, suburbs and coast codes. There's um, Arizona, Zambina. So we're on the, what do I want to, what Middleton Street? Uh, uh, page 312. So it's roughly inside those ones, page 1 to 328. So rather than having to go through 300 pages, if I scroll down here, okay, I click on the plus there, and then it gives me each suburb. So 312. So now I'm looking at in uh, suburb order. So what's only it? is it's going to be between WA, Sunshine and West Melbourne. So what I say is page 312. So I click on there and then the screen will change and will show me what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go through to find page 312. So once again, it has to load up this PDF file, which is downloading from the internet. So it's coming across, it's loading up, it's another PDF file, big name. And then once again, I could download that if I wanted to, when it's all finished, all right. Uh, okay, so I'm off the page 312, so it's 291, I think I've now to the end. So rather than doing this, once again, uh, I will um, uh, pause the video until I find the one, but you'll notice each of the streets are given in alphabetical order. And it gives you the name of the intersecting street and the number and each person that lived in that particular street. So I'll just pause this until I find my Middleton Street and then show you what I'll do with it when I'm doing that. So I have to go down here. Okay. Stop my pause, pause my video. Okay. I've scrolled through with many backs and forths and I've got the page 312. And I'm in what's only the area I'm looking for on the particular postcode. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit more, and I've already found this. So, and I find here we are is Middleton Street. Uh, no, in my no, it's further down. There it is, Middleton Street. Okay, so there's Middleton Street. Now, now I've found this information rather than just reading it. I actually want to make a copy of that part of it and that part of it only. So if I put the cursor on it, I can actually, by the way, zoom up, which is zoom in by doing that and read it in more detail. But I'm going to drag over and drag down there, and right down to the bottom, which is halfway through the other part of it. So I've done that. I'm now going to copy. And now I'm going to start a something. It doesn't really matter what I use. OK. Uh, I'll use another one of that. That's the one I did earlier. I'll do another one. Uh, 
and then and so thing right up and I'm gonna paste it in. Right click and paste. So there we are. There's what it, all, all the information interested. By the way, I used to live at number 44. That's my father's name, KS Greg. And I can see who was Mr. Cutluck, the neighbor on the left of us, the Gilberts further down the road, etc. So I know that each of the people that lives in the street. Okay. You'll notice it also gives you, when it gives him this information, Middleton Street, it says what was the other end of it. The other end of Middleton Street was Meakin Street. Right? Uh, when it gets down to the right at the other end, it says Utah Street. And then it shows you, and by the way, it only shows you either side, north, south, east or west. For example, uh, that's the east side of the street. And further down, this is the west, drive, west side. However, I've only got from uh, five, five, seven, and nine, so that's on another page. I'm gonna go back here, scroll down to the next page, and see the rest of it, and grab the rest of it. So I'm gonna grab all of that, number 11, through to number 56. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna copy that. Go back to my notepad that I had there. Okay, add another line and right click and paste it in. Okay, so that's it. Now I can actually save that. So I can actually do file and then save it. I won't save it now. So I can save that information. Okay, so that's how you find information. So you can go through any street in Victoria uh, from 1860 to uh, 1974, find the street and find who lived in that particular street. Great for looking up your old neighbours, great for family history information, stuff like that. However, uh, if you had no idea the street that they lived in, how else can you do it? In addition to this directory having it all by street order, which is completely different to what a telephone book is, uh, telephone books in the modern era, uh, when they used to have them, only had, um, everybody's names uh, and, but, uh, and their address. This one has the address and then the name, but it also has the name and the address. So if you're looking up a particular person, what you can go is you can go to the alphabetical index. Right? So if we go down here, it's got Geelong, et cetera. I'll just get rid, close up that section. All right. uh, close up that section. Okay. And we'll go down to here, there's classifieds there, abbreviations, alphabetical section. So there's 932 pages of alphabetical section. So this book, this directory, not only has every single street in Victoria and who lived in it, but it has every single person's name and who, uh, and then the street that they lived in. So if you know the person's name, but you don't know where they live, you can also look it up there. So my surname is Greg, I can do in there, and go in there and find that, do it the other way around. So G, so I'm looking for GR, OPQR, GRA, then GI, IJKLM and O. I have trouble with my alphabet. So if I want to go into there, I think it'll be in there, it'll be in that one there. So I can go to that one and go to the alphabetical index. Okay, and it's loading up that. Now, as I said, uh, if you're able to do it when it loads up the whole thing, wait till the whole thing loads, and then I can type in my surname uh, and get the browser to search all the way across. Like that goes all the way across and get the browser to search for my surname. See if this works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, there we are, it's found one. Okay, one of one. Okay, there should be more than one one would have thought. Anyway, I'll click on that. There we are, it jumps to Greg. Okay, so that is in somebody in Greg Street. I don't want that. It's now found eight items, so I'll just jump to the next one. Let's 
go to the two, waiting for it to move to it. There we are, there's where it's found it. Another in Greg Street. I don't want Greg Street. I want the surname Greg. So I'm just going to jump again to the third one. Uh, Greg Street Fitzroy again. Didn't know there were so many people in Greg Street. Greg, another Greg. Okay. Just jumping to it. Takes a while to go through all the pages. Another Greg Street. So I'm just jumping forward until I find the one I'm looking for. Okay. Doesn't stop there. All right, looks like I'm in the right area. It's not showing me where it is. Okay, so we'll jump again to the seventh one. And again, and the eighth one. That's Gregson, so there might be more. It's only found eight, so uh, I'm just looking for Greg, all right? Greg Smith, Gregson, all right? So I just have to scroll back until I find it. I'll pause this and then I'll find it and show you what I've found, okay? Again, with a lot of backing and forthing and going back and forth and scrolling, I found my surname, which is Greg. It's up there, sorry, in the bottom there, Greg. And it starts at the bottom of that page and goes to the top of the next page. So lots of Greeks they came from Scotland so my father's name was KSJK there is and KS all four minutes and three plus four in so there we are so I can copy that and put that into a spreadsheet uh, put that into some other document if necessary all right so we put that there if you want to what i also like to do is uh when i'm doing this sort of thing is refer refer to the source of the information which is in this case sansa mcdougall of victoria 1970 right so i can put that in there right and also like to put the page number i've landed on on the the document so if i scroll back to the top there i know it's at the top or the bottom Got the page number. Takes a long while to scroll. There we are, it was on page 325. So I can go back and put in the nine pages on page 325. Okay, so that's basically it. it. That's how you can use a directory to find uh, who lived in a particular street or who was there. Um, the other advantage is even if uh, I found you, you can even go back in the street directory, uh, the street listing, and go back and look at previous and previous directories and find out when the house was built in the street within 10 year blocks, and even go back again further again and find out when the street existed. So I happen to know that uh, the street that I grew, uh, grew up in was actually wasn't built until 1930. And, my, and the house wasn't built until the 1940s and my parents didn't move in until the 1950s. So you can do all that sort of history from all this sort of stuff. Okay, all right, you got any questions, uh, email me. Uh, one other thing I should mention that if you wanted to know the latest information, I might do a video on this a little bit later on. You can, uh, even though there's no Sands and McDougall directory, um, there is uh, telephone directories now and you can look up people up on the white pages. But also in the white pages, uh, there are things where you can do reverse searches on telephone number or just pipe in a street name in a suburb and it'll tell you everybody that's in that. I'll do that in another video if necessary. If not, I'll do a link to it uh, at the bottom of this and to my web page, which has got it at the bottom of this video. All right, that's for the moment. That's all for the moment. So I shall uh, stop uh, sharing, uh, stop recording.